And I was uh, fortunate to uh, get to know Mr. B before, um, you know, um, her sickness. And um, I felt like I felt like he knew me as well. And um, some of the moments that, that we've had, I was walking through, uh, it, I think it was my rookie season, maybe my second year in the league, I was walking through um, right in front of the um, equipment room. And, you know, he said, Vaughn. He said my name and he was like, you know, have a great day today. You know, go out there, kill him this week. And I was like, whoa, like, Mr. B talked to me. <laughs> you know, <laughs> Mr. B talked to me. Um, and this was uh, right in like, right in the prime where, you know, he was dealing with some of the issues that he was dealing with and for him to, you know, remember me and, you know, talk to me and pull me to the side, it meant the word to me. And that's some, um, some of the stuff that I, that I remember about Mr. B. It was great. I mean, in the NFL, you want an owner that wants to win. And um, Mr. B, he not, only, he not only just talked about it, he, he was about it 100%. You know, I was uh, probably the last, one of the last few guys to see him, you know, working out in, the, um, in Greek's office, um, working out on, on the little elliptical that he had. And, you know, I was one, probably one of the last ones to see him doing that. And he would get there early in the morning and he would work out. Um, he would be one of the last ones to leave as well. And, um, you know, every single morning I would see him talk, talking to Greek and, you know, his office and stuff. So I, I feel um, honored and I feel like, uh, you know, blessed to be able to you know, be one of the last few ones to get to know him.